Hey everybody, this is DJ Conscientious from ConscientiousSound.com with another episode of From the Bench to the Booth. This episode today I want to talk to you about adding a weapon to your DJ arsenal. Very effective weapon. Old school weapon. Uh, there are many DJs, I don't even think use it anymore. I like it. I used it back in the day when I used to spin wax. And that weapon is a siren. Not an electronic siren, but a mechanical siren. Like the sirens that you hear on uh, your typical fire truck. So, I'm gonna show you how I implement that into my, um, my set. Okay, so here we are at the booth. Sorry, at the bench. <laughs> Going from the bench to the booth. And um, we're discussing um, implementing a siren into your DJ um, equipment, your DJ arsenal. And the type of siren that I have is a mechanical siren, all right? Wolo looks like the uh, manufacturer. I got this on Amazon. I um, mean, I think it was like 20, 25 bucks, okay? And there's not gonna be much technical stuff today because I already had this assembled. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how you would uh, implement this. But it's actually very simple. Okay, this siren is a 12 volt siren, and um, if you don't use that brand, just make sure you get one that is a 12 volt siren. Basically, it's two wires. Okay, you have a wire that's a positive and a negative that goes to a battery. All right, now you could use a wall adapter, just need to make sure it has a good amount of amperage um, for the 12 volts because the siren does pull a little bit of. Um, a little bit of current when it starts up. All right, so here's my assembly. All right, as you know, I like to do things remote. Uh, if you saw my video on the um, dry ice fog machine. So basically what I did was I took the siren, painted it black, so the camouflage kind of well with my speakers. Got some pegboard here, mounted it to the pegboard. And I still got a couple of rough edges I need to clean up uh, from some alt um, alterations I made when assembling this. Um, this box right here is a remote relay. Okay, so basically what this does is turn on and turn off when you press your button, just like a little remote on your keychain on your um, on your car doorless keyless entry. So basically what happens is you have your 12 volt power that needs to go to your siren. This relay activates the 12 volts that go to your siren when you activate the remote. I put a fuse on here just to protect the, um, the circuits. So it's a very simple hookup and I'll try to find a diagram and post that near the end of the video. But basically all you have is power in and power out. The relay circuit works on 12 volts also. And initially, I was powering this with a, a battery pack similar to this. And uh, before a gig, I would just go get, you know, a bunch of double A's, you know, add these up. I think this holds 10, 1.5 um, volts per each double A. This is double sided. Had it mounted here, had it wired in. It did okay, it's just that the siren pulls a lot of voltage, so these are run down pretty quick. I wouldn't suggest using your siren very often. What I have found is that maybe three times throughout the night works best when you maybe drop that hit song, the most popular song for that time, um, and you, you throw the siren in right at the beginning. Really, really, really hype the crowd up. You'd be surprised. They, really, they, they love it. It just adds that extra flair to the party atmosphere. But back to the power source. What I have found that works the best for the power source is not a drill, but the battery pack from my cordless drill. All right, 12 volts, spade connectors, very easy to tap in. So I take my battery, put it right here. And this isn't finished. I'm gonna make this a much cleaner enclosed thing. Got my spade connectors here from my power source 
into the remote control. Red for positive, negative, black for negative. So we put that here. Attach this from there. All right, we'll switch, turn the remote on. Here's your remote. There you go. Very loud. Very loud. This, this this battery pack puts out a lot more juice than those little double A's. So. I like to sit this on top of a speaker. Um, it's out of the way. Probably the most stuff that the the guest will see will maybe just be the front like this. Um, if you push it back far enough, they won't see anything. With the remote, I have the remote at my booth, and whenever I want to activate it, hey, good. To go. So from the bench to the booth, conscientiousound.com, DJ Conscientious.